Alright, so after a lot of sweating and swearing, here's where we are. Um, I basically started by getting the top bracket in place with the top two bolts and left the side bolts out. Then I got the lower bracket um, very loose, all five bolts, and installed the upper bolt um, in order to you know, get them basically aligned. Um, then proceeded to start you know, snugging up the other five bolts, so the three on the side and then the two down by the, uh, the base of the engine. And it, when I removed this bolt, then it kind of sprung back. So they weren't in great alignment. But that notwithstanding, I guess I was somewhat encouraged that it is possible to get this aligned. So I loosened things back up on the lower bracket. I hoisted the OEG in place, got these lower two installed, and then proceeded to try to get this upper bolt installed. And the weight of the thing is, I don't know. It This is keeping this from moving the way it was. So I had to loosen these top bolts further, which places the whole thing just you can see the huge gap there and the terrible misalignment of these holes now. So the top plate is not level and flush with the engine. Um, I can make it so. I can torque things down and I can apply whatever force is necessary to get things lined up. But before I do that and potentially irreparably damage something, I wanted to get you guys to evaluate whether you think this is appropriate. Um, I'm going to call it a night and we'll see what you guys think about this in the morning. Um, I feel like I can probably apply enough force to make this work, but you know, I don't know what the implications of that would end up being. So give me your thoughts and let's see if we need to think about this further. Um, if maybe more alteration to the top bracket so it just naturally aligns better without needing to be you know, loosened this much and then retorqued a whole bunch. I don't know. Let me know what you think.